How to customize the Shopify Ride theme. Now the Ride theme is actually a great theme when it comes to sports, when it comes to generally kind of a more exotic brand, a more exotic store. Um, you can see a preview of the Ride theme right here on screen. And let me actually show you how to customize it. So to get started, you will actually have to add it onto your store. Just click on try theme right here to actually add it. And this will actually install this theme onto your Shopify dashboard. This is going to take a couple of seconds uh, until it's fully loaded. And once it's successfully got installed, just click on customize right here. And this is how the Shopify editor is going to look like. Now we are going to go through this from top to bottom. So no worries if this is going to look somewhat complicated. Basically, um, to actually edit elements, you can just select them by clicking them. And then you're always going to have the different kind of settings on the right. On the left, you're then going to see a general view of all of the different elements within your homepage, which you can then once again select to edit on the right. And right here on the far top, we can actually change the page that we want to edit. So if we, for example, do want to add the product page, we can do so by just selecting that right here. And then we can once again go through the same process as I've already explained beforehand. But as of right now, I will actually get started with the home page. Now, one other thing which is important to notice is that you can actually change the view of this website by clicking uh, these icons right here. And one thing which I would generally recommend you to do is to always optimize your store for the mobile because basically Basically, all, most of your customers are going to be on mobile and therefore it is really important to actually correctly customize this. But either way, we are going to get started on the top with the announcement bar. Now, the announcement bar is basically a great way to uh, put your sale out there, to basically put out some incentivizers on why people should buy right now from your store. So, for example, I would then probably just First of all, select the text right here on the left. And I would then just add something like minus 20% off all orders until Wednesday. Okay, I'm just making things up right now. And then actually to make this clickable, in this case, I guess it would make sense. I misspelled Wednesday, don't mind me. But I guess just to make this clickable, uh, we would then just have to click on link right here. And then I would probably just link this to the all products tab right here so that when someone is going to, uh, I made a, Sorry, I made a quick mistake, but I guess just when, when you make this clickable, when someone is now going to click this, they're then going to be redirected to the all products page uh, as we've set up beforehand. But let me now actually navigate back to the home page and let's now get started customizing the header. Now, as you can see right here, um, as of right now, we don't actually have a logo for this. And to change this, we actually do want to head over to the theme settings. Now, the theme settings are kind of the basic settings for all across your website. So if you're going to change things right here, uh, these are automatically going to be changed everywhere on your website. So right here on the logo, we will then have to actually upload your, our logo. In this case, I'm going to actually upload my white logo for this. So once this actually got uploaded, you will then just have to select it and click on done. And now it successfully got added onto the store right here. We can then actually also change the size right here. We can make it, I guess, a little bit bigger. And then we can also change the Fabicon image. Now, this is really important for a professional store. Actually, you do want to add this because the Fabicon is just going to be the little icon that is going to show up on the top of all of your sites, basically. And then we also can set up colors, typography, and so on. And now, basically, Shopify usually does a pretty good job with this by default. However, if you do, for example, want to add a new color scheme onto this, you can do so by clicking right here, and you can then basically customize everything to your likings. Now, a tool that can help you with this would be colors.co, colors.co, I don't know how to pronounce it, but either way with this tool, you can generate all sorts of different color palettes, which you can then use for your website. I guess I will just leave you the link for this down below as this is quite useful. But as for me, I will just go with the default settings right here. You can then actually also change the typography if you do want to. To do so, just click on change and you can then actually also just select any of these fonts right here, which you like. But once again, I'm just going to stick with the default um, because I actually think Shopify did a pretty good job with this. By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. Now, actually you can go over all sorts of other things like animations, like buttons, and so on but 
most of these you aren't actually going to use. But either way, if you do have any questions along the way, make sure to either leave them in the comments down below or just join my completely free community with hundreds of like-minded people where you can actually instantly get help. And you're also going to get access to a free Shopify beginner course. So make sure to just click the link if you want to. Either way, we are now going to head back to the sections right here and we are now actually going to get started customizing this. So to get started, we are going to select this first thing. I'm sorry, let's actually get uh, continue with the header. So basically with this header, um, we already have set up the logo but if you for example do want to change the menu items right here you could do so by simply just clicking on this icon right here this will then actually redirect you to this settings page where you can then add all sorts of new menu items onto this so in this case i would then just add a all products tab and i would then obviously just link this to all of my products so just going to select this right here then i'm going to click on add and now this successfully got added i'm going to click on save and if we're now going to actually head back to our store and if we're going to refresh this we can actually see that this should actually get updated as you can see now we do have this all products tab and if we're going to click on this and um, we can actually see all of our different products and once again if you do want to customize this you can do so by just once again selecting all of the different elements but for now, let's once again just head back to our homepage. And now we can actually get started with this first image with text section. So basically you would then just have to upload an image right here from your product. Uh, alternatively, you can actually also explore some of the free images. So in this case, as I would actually build up a clothing company right here, I would then just add, add a picture of a clothing thing right here. Maybe something like, I guess I'm just going to go with this one right here, or I just go with this, uh, this one just because of the perspective. And then you can just select this. And now we do have our picture added. And now we can actually continue by adding this, uh, editing this text right here. So I guess I'm just going to, I don't know, change this to shop our newest fits. And then we can actually change this button right here. We can actually use the outline button style if we do want to. Usually I'm not going, I'm, I'm not using this essentially. And then basically we can change the button link, button label right here. So I, I guess I would just then just change this to shop all. And now we do have our first section edited. And if we would now actually want to add a new section onto this, we could then then just either use this tab right here to actually see all of the different sections or we can rather just click right here on the left to add a new section onto this. Now each of these sections are going to be for different kind of use cases. For example the slideshow is great to I guess just show different kind of use cases and features of your product. Image with text is once again a basically does the same thing. However, things like multi-row or things like multi-column are actually great to, for example, show some product reviews. So basically to add some social proof onto your product and so on. So if we would now actually want to add this, we could then just select this and we can then further customize this by just once again, selecting this, changing the heading. So in this case, I'm just going to say that, I don't know, John B actually created, added a review that said um, the best jogger out there. Obviously, I'm just making things up right now and you should actually um, add some genuine product reviews. But anyways, right here on the link label, you can then actually put in something like shop all joggers and then you can actually link this to your joggers right here. So I'm just going to do this. And now, as you can see, the person that is going to see this review that the joggers of us are the best out there, they can then just instantly click on this and they're then going to be redirected to this joggers page right here, um, which actually is great in terms of conversion rate and in terms of product page optimization. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.